clapping, let's keep clapping. Keep clapping to the one that sustains, the one who shows us mercies every blessed morning. Give him all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration. He's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy, hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. He's the one that made you see another month. If he had taken you before now, he will still be a God of faithfulness without injustice. It's a privilege that we are alive today. Let's just appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. People of God, we have the spinal cord that makes us able to stand upright. If it's broken, you won't be able to stand. Amen? So there's a pillar that holds our lives together. And that is Jesus. You are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. You are, you are, you are the pillar that. Before David said, Come and taste and see that the Lord is good. He had tested him, he had tested him, and God had shown himself faithful. How many of us have experienced the faithfulness of God? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. People of God, God does not need us to be God, He's God all by Himself. Amen. But you have a choice to choose him or to choose gods that are made with human being hands. But we have made a conscious choice this morning and all throughout our lives to choose and cling to the Jehovah El Shaddai, the almighty God, the God of miracles, signs and wonders. The God who is fearful in praises, always doing wonders. The God of faithfulness, the Father of mercies, the God of all flesh, with whom nothing shall be impossible. Praise the name of the Lord. So with that realization this Thanksgiving morning, we want to tell him that he is our God. Amen? No other God. All other gods are the works of men's hands. For this God is my God, is my God forever.
eternal rock of ages, the faithful God, King of glory, the ancient of days, the Jehovah El Shaddai, the almighty God, the Jehovah Shammah, the one that is always there, always faithful, the Lord of hosts, the one that fights our battles. Our gathering is unto you today. We make a conscious choice again today that you are our God. Forever and ever and a day you are our God. Father, we thank you for all you have done for us from the beginning of this year. We thank you for what you have done even this month. Father, we thank you a lot because you are a God that speaks. King of glory, you are a God of miracles, signs and wonders. You have said that you have not called the children of Jacob to serve you in vain. You are a rewarder. You are a living God. A God that is active. A God that does. A God that goes ahead. A God that shatters bars of iron. A God that even fills valleys. A God that makes crooked ways straight. A God of faithfulness without injustice. Father, we thank you. Ato Farati, we thank you. Thank you, Jehovah. King of glory, we thank you. If you had a thousand tongues, we can't thank you enough for your goodness, for your mercy, for your faithfulness, for your love, for your protection, for your defense. Father, you are our shield, our buckler, our exceeding great reward. Father, we thank you. We thank you. It is only the living that can thank you. Thank you for keeping us alive. In spite of everything, we are still standing. Thank you for hope of a better tomorrow. Hope that make it not ashamed. Father, we thank you. Because you have told us that Igbenyadu. Father, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Thank you for not allowing us to lose our mind. Thank you all for holding us together. Thank you for all you are the pillar that holds us together. Father, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Makaposo to Blechente. The Spirit of the Living God, we thank you. The Comforter, we thank you. The Doer, we thank you. Maseteke Proso to Blechanta. Makaposo to Blechente. Lord Jesus, we thank you. You are our advocate, our defender. Makaposo to Blechente. Our lover. The bishop of our souls, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for what you have done, for what you are doing, for what you are going to do in advance. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. We say, Blessed be your name. Hallelujah to your name. Glory, honor, and adoration to your name. Father, we thank you. King of glory, show up in our midst, O Lord. You have never disappointed us. Show up in our midst, O Lord. This church is known for miracles, signs, and wonders. Show up once again, O Lord, and take all the glory, take all the honor, take all the adoration, because we are prayed in the name of our Lord and Master, Jesus Christ. Let's clap for Jesus. Let's clap for Jesus. Let's clap for Jesus. Give him glory, give him honor, give him adoration. Blessed, blessed, blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Please be seated in his wonderful presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like to welcome everyone here and online to another month of God's faithfulness, the month of March. Let's just thank for this clap for Jesus. Let's clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. People of God, on Tuesday, the 1st of March, at about 2.10 a.m., after coming back from the solemn assembly, which is a meeting that the General Vassar conducts for workers alone, I asked the Lord at around that time, what was the month for the month of March? And as I was praying, I went into a trance and I saw myself in heaven and there was loud music heavy, loud music in heaven. Intense worship session. And this will be the third time in my life that God has taken me and I've had this kind of experience. The first time, I had one of the most beautiful songs, worship, 
But I was struggling to wake up so I could write it down. But I was so engrossed in that worship session that I forgot. By the time I woke up, I'd forgotten the song. It was very painful to me. And I spoke to Sax T, a pastor in charge of music. And he said, what I needed to do was to have my phone next to me because this was an unusual experience. And God wants to do some great things through those songs. God is speaking to us through those songs. So, I obeyed him and they showed me how to record. And I put my phone next to me. The second time I had that experience, I was able to capture that song to the glory of God. And today the choir will do that song. But on the 1st of March, God came through with another song. Hallelujah. And I was able to capture that second song as best as I could. It was loud. Like I see, we are using a piano. It was so loud. And this second song came with the word for the month. And God said loudly, audibly, that this month is a month of gratitude and testimonies. Amen. Amen. Gratitude and testimonies. People of God, they will sing that first song which they've been singing, but maybe you didn't know that it came straight from heaven. They will sing the first one I was able to capture. And then the second song they will sing will be the one that I received on the 1st of March. And that will be the title of this message. Because once God has spoken, what am I looking for? Amen? And he has told us that this month is a month of gratitude and a month of awesome testimonies. So let's clap for Jesus in advance. Amen? God is going to meet you at the point of your need. He's going to do great and mighty things. So I've asked the choir to help me with the old song and the new song. Amen? And we'll go from testimony to testimony in Jesus' mighty name. Just in a nutshell. Thank you. That's the old one, yes. Lord, glorify your name, your name to
Jesus before he went to the cross says father glorify your name in my life and that means that God enabled him to fulfill destiny when God glorifies his name in your life nothing will be impossible every obstacle will become a stepping stone nothing will be able to stop you become unstoppable you will fulfill destiny great plans of God in your life will come to pass and that was that for some and then on the first of March God gave me this one no one can thank you enough hallelujah no one can thank you Psalms in the night. And my prayer that all that God wants to do in our lives, He will do today in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the name of the Lord. Please be seated. Let's clap for the best choir in the kingdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Amen. It was so loud. And I thank God for technology. I was able to capture as much as I could. So looking at the theme that God gave us, and I can confidently say that God gave us because I heard him. Gratitude and testimonies. And the title of the song that God gave us, no one can thank him enough. That means that God has obviously done a lot of things in the lives of some of our members, either here and online. And they are not sharing their testimonies. And God is grieved. But I've done this for you. I've done this for you. You're always requesting, always requesting, how about the things I have done in your life? People are supposed to hear this testimony so that they can be encouraged. 
and I will take the glory. God needs to take the glory. He's serious about his glory. He doesn't share his glory with man. No one should rob God of his glory. And I believe that that is why God has brought this message to us this month. That I want to hear from you. I want you to be able to say thank you. And I want to do much more, even in your life. I don't know who God is speaking to, but there are some people here. You can hide from man, but you cannot hide from God. And my prayer is that God will speak to us today in Jesus' mighty name. The story of the ten lepers, we know it in Luke 17. They came to Jesus, asking him for mercy. They couldn't even move close to him. Because they're not supposed to move close to people. They had a reproach that was known to the world. Indeed, they were stigmatized by their problems. I don't know whether you're here. People know your issues. Or there's some issues that you can't even tell people. Ten of them came to Jesus. Have mercy upon us. And in verse 14 of that scripture in Luke 17, he told them to go and show themselves to the priest. The Bible says that as they were going, they were cleansed. They just saw that their broken hands were just coming back. There was restoration of their health, of their wealth, of their peace, of their joy, as they were going. And I believe that as some of us are going today, God will perfect all that concerns us in Jesus' mighty name. And as some of us are shouting amen, God will do it instantly in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the name of the Lord. People of God, nine of them, they started jumping. They looked at themselves. New life. Now I need to show myself, not even to the priest, to my family, my relatives. They were happy. At last, God has done it. But the Bible says that one of them in verse 15 came back to Jesus shouting with a loud voice, glorifying God, and he fell down at his feet. He gave him thanks. He was rolling on the floor. I was blind, now I see. I was sick, now I'm healed. God has answered me at last. And Jesus said something in verse 17. He says, We're not ten cleansed. Where are the nine? The Godhead expects you to come back. It's because that guy came back that we can read it today. He came back and gave glory to God. They expect us. Jesus' heart was broken. Just like you do good to someone and he can't even say thank you. You give someone money, he can't say thank you. You restore someone, he can't say thank you. You help someone, he can't say thank you. He just turns back and goes. It's not good. Only one grateful leper came back. People of God. And what happened? Jesus told him. He says in verse 17 of the message version. We are not ten healed. We are the nine. Can none be found to come back and give glory to God except this outsider. Then he said, get up on your way. Your faith has healed you and saved you, has made you whole. Only God knows what will happen to those other nine. That is why there is that scripture that we pray, that may affliction not rise up a second time. Amen? Because God wants to deal with you permanently. But those ones that did not say, thank you, I reckon from this, that they were not made whole. That the affliction rose up a second time. And they looked for Jesus. They couldn't find him. Because the Bible says, call upon him while he's near. A time might come when you shout, you can't find him. 
Esau wept sore. He couldn't find him. It was too late. My prayer is that God will speak to us in Jesus' mighty name. What is a testimony? A testimony is just a story of the acts of God intervening in the lives of people. Just a story of how God touched you, visited you, transformed your life. You found yourself in a hard place and God came through. We have had testimonies today. It's just a story. What is your story? People of God, we are supposed to be storytellers. Acts 1 8. Acts 1 8. Boy, you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you. You shall be witnesses unto me. Both in Lagos, in London, wherever you are. And in Judea, the next village. In Samaria, yes, the next village. And unto the uttermost part of the world, they hear you on internet. Amen. You need to talk about what God is doing in your life. You won't feel good if you are doing stuff in people's life and they're not even saying thank you. They are holding back. You hold back your life. You hold back testimony. You hold back your money. What else will you not hold back? People of God, my prayer is that God will speak to us in Jesus' mighty name. We need to speak up. It's called good news because there are people here in your congregation and online. They need to hear that deliverance truly is possible. That God can really heal. That God can deliver. That God is a faithful. That all things can truly pass away. That God is a restorer. He is a provider. That he can comfort. That these things are not mere words. That they are spirit, they are life. I have experienced it. That he is a rewarder. He can promote. That people that needs to hear. People of God. Jesus told the blind man of the madman of Gadara in Luke 8 39. Luke 8 39 says, Jesus, I want to go with you. He says, No, return unto your house, your own house, and show how great things God has done unto you. And he went his way and published throughout the whole city how great things Jesus had done even unto him. Everyone that came into contact with him, he told the story. He went everywhere. Every county, every part of his city shouted, I was mad. Look at me today. Look at what God has done for me. And I'm sure that when God hears these testimonies, he's dancing on his chair. Yes, because all glory will come to him. Let's clap for Jesus. Let's clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. There are some scriptures that tell you you need to publish. We are reporters. We need to publish. You can't keep quiet. Psalm 26, 7. Psalm 26, 7 says that I may publish with the voice of thanksgiving and tell of all thy wonderful life. Are you telling people what God has done in your life? There are people waiting in the flanks that need to be imparted. They need to hear you. By being silent, you are robbing God of his glory. And they need to hear because God is no respecter of persons. If he can come through for you, he will come through for others in Jesus' mighty name. People of God, it's important for us to share our testimonies. Some people might say, I don't feel like sharing my testimony. I don't feel like testifying. I don't feel like giving thanks. Nobody is saying you should feel like it. Nobody is saying you should feel like it. Just do it in faith. You don't have to feel like it. You have to share it and thank God, not by feeling, but by faith. Abraham had been barren for many years, 25, 26 years. His wife, barren for many years. They were the butt of jokes. He didn't feel like, how could he feel like? If you read your scriptures, you see that he had high times and low times. Sometimes you go to God, why? Is it this servant that will now inherit everything? But the Bible tells us, in Romans, I think 4, 17, 18, 19, 20, that he 
held on to the promise. All he had was the word. And all you need today is the promise. Is the word of God. And the Bible says that he was the best dancer in church. Always giving glory to God. He did not allow his circumstance to snuff out the praise of God from his mouth. Because he knew that all things work together for good to those that love God and be called according to his promise. He knew that his day was coming. Job 14, 14 says, all the days of my life I will wait because my change is coming. I prophesy to your life that your change is coming today in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus didn't feel like going to the cross. He didn't feel like going to the cross. He says, Father, let this cup pass. I don't want to die. He had tested the dregs of sin. He had no sin. He knew no sin. He was God, but he had to become human because of you and I. But you see, 1 Thessalonians 5.18 says, look, give thanks. Anyhow. Because this is the will of God for you and I if we are in Christ Jesus. This is what God wants you to do. So it's not about you not feeling to dance or thanking God. No, it has nothing to do with your feeling. You are thinking that way is because you don't know the problems of others. Anybody seen Abraham dancing will think that all is well. Yes, all was well by faith. And God is a faithful God. He will not disappoint you. People of God, it might take time, but at the right time, the Bible says that he has made all things beautiful. In his time, he has already made it. All we are waiting for is manifestation. He has done it. God has done it. The first time Daniel knelt down to pray, God dispatched the answer. There were hindrances, but God dealt with those hindrances. It took three weeks, but the answer had been dispatched from day one. And I've come to encourage you that God has already done it. And if you can believe it, this month is your month of manifestation. Because God says you will testify. You must testify. God is not man to lie. He's not the son of man to repent. If he said it, he will do it. If he did it once, he will do it again. Hallelujah. Let's clap for Jesus. Let's clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't let anything snuff out your praise. God has done it. And every hindrance, every stumbling block, God will remove today in Jesus' mighty name. People, God, people want to hear from you. From, I can't stay silent. We have some testimonies. So when you hear testimonies, you need to react properly. So that you too can testify. It's beyond just clapping. Look at what God has done in this church. I will read a few. Adamu El. He says, before the Thanksgiving service, I had pains around my waist. And it was so excruciating. I could barely sit still for a long period. Haven't had people's testimonies about how they got healed as they danced and sang praise to God during the previous Thanksgiving Sundays. I decided to tap into it and release my faith for my own healing to come. As I got home after dancing during the last dance, I noticed that the pain had disappeared and I haven't felt pain either around my waist or any other part of my body forever. Let's clap for Jesus. Just because somebody stood and said, God is faithful. He did it in my life. Somebody else connected. I pray that today you will connect in Jesus' mighty name. Okay, Mute A. I believe God for a new job. And I was favored last year, September. I had testimonies of others in the church. And I believe God was going to help change my job. And he did just that. Praise the name of the Lord. I had excruciating pains, that's David, on my nose. And I remembered the testimony of a sister concerning the use of anointing oil. Since I have one, I place on my nose and the pain disappeared to the glory of God. Let's clap for Jesus. In Kurika, Amanda, 
Someone shared a testimony of how God surprised her with a new car. As she keyed into a testimony of someone who testified of a car, she surprisingly got. I keyed into it today. God has surprised me too with a 2014 brand new car. Let's clap for Jesus. People of God, people are waiting. They are waiting. Look at this old one. You know, harvest is not me. I've been praying to God for my harvest. And keyed into testimony of the man who had wanted to sell his land and eventually sold it. As a real estate agent, I'd been expecting to sell a particular property for a while. After hearing his testimony, I prayed to God to turn my transaction into a harvest. On Tuesday, May 19, 2015, the buying agent called me and asked for details of the bank draft to be issued. This can only be God's doing because I've been trying to sell it since February 2015 and had not gotten results. People of God, Thanksgiving testimonies is important to God. It's important to us. God needs the glory. That is why he says in Psalm 104, he says, enter my gates with thanksgiving. Are my courts with praise? Be thankful unto him and bless his name. He's so clear. That is the protocol of entering God's praise. Don't let these issues weigh you down. God is a burden bearer. He wants to carry your burdens. He wants to carry all those issues because he needs you to praise him. God inhabits the praises of his people. He eats praise. Like a fish needs water to survive. God needs your praise. Like we need oxygen to survive. God needs your praise. And anything that will not further praise, today, God will remove in Jesus' mighty name. Say a better amen. Jeremiah 30, 19. And out of them shall proceed thanksgiving. And the voice of them that make merry. And I will multiply them. And they shall not be few. I will also glorify them. And they shall not be small. Amen. First Chronicles 16, 8. Give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. You can't keep quiet. Psalm 147, 7. Sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving. Sing praise unto the harp. Unto God, Isaiah 63, 7. I will mention the loving kindness of the Lord and the praises of the Lord according to all the Lord has bestowed upon us and the great goodness towards the house of Israel, towards the city of David, which he has bestowed on them according to his mercies and according to the multitude, multitude of his loving kindness. Psalm 105, 1. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people. It's important. You don't feel like doing it because you don't know what others are going through. You think that your own problem is the greatest. When people open their mouth, ah, you will kneel down and roll on the floor. Like, eh? You mean this man is still praising God? You mean Job can still praise God? He had lost virtually everything. The wife he was staying with was saying, die. What have you gone through? There is nothing you have gone through that is not common to man. Is come on. You lost someone, everybody has lost someone. You are waiting, everybody has waited. You failed once, the Bible says that the righteous will fall seven times, but you will get up. So why are you weeping? Why are you, why, why are your hands down? Why are you saying, I won't praise God? Even when you don't think you, you have anything, you must still praise God. I've shared the testimony of a woman did not have jack. The only thing she had was a Rolex watch that her father gave. She threw it in the offering basket. We couldn't even sell it. Because that was all she had. Today, she's one of the biggest entrepreneurs in Nigeria today. People put, you know, you can't say you don't have. Because everything you have, the clothes on your body, there's nothing you say you have that God did not give you. If it's your shoe, you put your shoe down. If you really want to give, and if you can't give material things, you can give your dance. You can give your praise. You can give your testimony. People of God, today is a day of gratitude. A day of testimonies. Because as you testify, you will overcome. The Bible says in Revelation 12, 11, it says, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb 
and by the word of their testimony. People of God, to overcome means to conquer. You will conquer today in Jesus' name. It means to defeat. You will defeat every adversary. It means to prevail. I can see you prevailing. Prevailing over that circumstance. I can see you rejoicing. I can see you testifying. Amen. It means to overpower. You overpower every adversary. Today, you cannot fail again. You will overpower every challenge. Everything that comes that is all of God, you will see them no more in Jesus' mighty name. People of God, to, to, to overcome means to surmount. There is nothing you will not surmount. You will win in Jesus' mighty name. It means to gain. It means victory. It means to win. I see you victorious. This is your month of victory. I said this is your month of victory. That thing that stresses you, God is take, taking away. That pain will go. Oh, your healing will spring forth. I say your healing will bring forth. That thing that does not make you sleep at night, God will sort it out. I say God will sort it out. Because we have a God that goes ahead of us. He has already gone ahead. He has gone ahead. That crooked way is straight already in Jesus' name. By the time you get there, that stone has been rolled away. Today is a day of thanksgiving. It's a day of praising God for what he has done that will manifest. People of God, nothing will snuff out your praise in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the name of the Lord. People of God, David, David won his battle against Goliath when he shared the testimony of past victories. Not when he cut off the head because the spiritual controls the physical. Before he cut off the head, he had won. And that is in 1 Samuel 17, 34 to 37. David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep. And there came a lion and a bear and took the lamb out of the flock. And I went out after him and smote him and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard and smote him and slew him. Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear. And this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them, seeing he has defied the armies of the living God. 37, David said, Moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion, out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of the Philistine. People of God, he won the battle. He won the battle. He won the battle. God has given you a mouth. He has given you a mouth and an utterance that all your adversaries cannot refute. He says, as you speak the word, fire will come out of your mouth and it will consume whatever is coming. He sent the word. He prophesied and victory was settled. I want you to begin to prophesy even into your future that Edo, it is well with you. It is well with your children. It is well with your career. It is well with your ministry. It is well with your wife. It is well with you. Oh, that healing has come in the name of Jesus Christ. I will weep no more. I will sorrow no more. Oh, the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. I'm a candidate for everlasting joy. I will testify. I will not worship him in vain because God is a rewarder. He's a rewarder. He's a rewarder. He answers prayers. He cannot disappoint me. I know it is well with me. Every battle that I'm going to fight, I have won already. I have won already. This is my best month yet. In the name of Jesus, it's my best month yet. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name we pray. The spiritual controls the physical. Prophesy, those dry bones will live again. I said those very dry bones, they will live again. Prophesy into your life. Prophesy into your life. What is it you want God to do for you? Before you call upon him, he knows about it. He's just waiting for you to agree. Heaven has done it. They are looking for agreement. You need to agree with God today. That yes, you will not weep again. You will not sorrow again. You will be promoted. The favor of God will follow you and overtake you. It is well with your children. Your children will be for signs and wonders. They will be greater than you. Begin to prophesy. You are not meant to be down. You are supposed to be up. He says above only and not beneath. That promotion is mine. This month is a month of lifting. It's a month of lifting. It's a month of lifting. I can see it. If you can see it, if you can see it, then begin to claim it. It cannot change. It cannot change. Our God is faithful. Our God is good. Don't let all those storms and the wind distract you. 
follow the word follow the word follow the word his word is forever settled it is settled it is settled it is settled in heaven and we pull it down right now in the name of jesus so shall it be in jesus my name hello god when your time comes and i believe your time has come god makes you a god onto your problems exodus 7 1 god made moses a god unto pharaoh and i promise into your life that today god has made you a god unto all your problems whatever you say shall go shall go whatever you say shall come shall come oh if you want it now it will happen if you want it now it will happen i say if you want it today it will happen you are a god you are supposed to rule by decree begin to decree against every stumbling block every bars of iron i decree you are shattered in the name of jesus christ nothing will stop me this is my month of testimony i will testify Things will turn around for me. That debt will be wiped away. I will marry. Who says I will not have children? I will marry. I will have children. I will see my children's children. I will not die. I will leave. That sickness will not take me out. It will not take me out. God says that with long life, he will satisfy me. I only go when I'm satisfied. I only go when I'm satisfied. My children are destroyed for lack of knowledge. I have knowledge. I have understanding. I only go when I am satisfied. And I'm not satisfied yet. I must fulfill destiny. No one can rob me of fulfillment of destiny. When I'm done, I will go. No one will take my place. My life will glorify God. My wife's life will glorify God. Oh, my ministry will glorify God. My children will glorify God. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Lastly, please be seated. Before we share testimonies and pay our vows, looking closely at the song that God gave us, he says, no one can thank me enough. It means that even if you have a thousand tongues, you can't thank him enough. You can't praise him enough. You can't bless him enough. You have no idea of what he has done. You know, it is easy for you to thank God for the things that he has done, that you know he has done. He gave you a car. He gave you a house. He gave you a child. Yes, you can thank God for that. But how about those unknown mercies? The Bible says that he renews his mercies every morning. It is by his mercies that you got here. God removes some things from your way so that you can get here. It is by his mercies that you woke up this morning. Have you thanked him for waking up? It is by his mercies that all these things are happening to you. People of God, how about that? He says you cannot thank me enough. You can not th- only thank me for things you know. How about the things I've done that you do not know? How can Joseph thank God enough for turning the evil plans of his enemies to kill him for good? People of God, how can? How can he do it? It is almost impossible. That is why he said in Genesis 50, 20, Genesis 50, 20, he says, but as for you, you thought evil against me, but God turned it around unto good to fulfill his purpose. Look at that in the message version. He said, don't you see? You planned evil against me, but God used those same plans for my good. As you see all around you right now, life for many people. Easy now. You have nothing to fear. I take care of you and your children. People of God, the Bible says in Genesis 37, 21, they wanted to kill him. They said, kill him. But amongst the enemy, God raised a voice of reason. Reuben says, don't kill him. So they threw him in the pit. Look at verse 24. And they took him and cast him into a pit. The pit was empty. No water. No snake. When they threw the general Vasya and his sister into a pit, there was a snake. But God made sure that that snake did not strike. But look at this man. If there was water there, that would have been the end of him. People of God, Judah said, no, let us sell him to the Ishmaelites. Before they got back to the pit, the Bible says that some Midianites, not Ishmaelites, they were much and they sold him for 20 pieces of silver. They heard his cry. They sold him. Who did they sell him to? 
to Potiphar, who was a, an officer in the house of Pharaoh. That was where he was going. He became a house boy. Potiphar's wife wanted to mess him up. He said, no. I have success habits. I know where God is taking me. I will not compromise. She lied against him. Satan was rejoicing. We have held him. He, he came out of the pit. He was so, yes. But this time we've got him. He will rot in jail. They didn't know that they were helping God. They threw him in jail. The butler was waiting. The baker was waiting. He had a gift. He interpreted their dreams. He told the butler, when you get to Pharaoh, don't forget me. The butler forgot him. Two years. It appears the enemy had won. But we have a God who is a right time God. Ah. Never late. If they had released him, he would have gotten another job. But God waited because he has already made all things beautiful in his time. He gave Pharaoh a dream. And Joseph was the only one. How can he thank God enough? No one can read the script of God. Everything has been said and written and just said before you are born. Why are we fretting? Why are we anxious? People of God, no one can thank him enough. Hallelujah. No one can thank him enough. Your righteousness reaches heaven to the We're sorry for not sharing. Sorry for holding back. Thank you for the things we know you have done. But how can we thank you enough for the things we don't even know you have done? The mountains you moved without our knowing. The enemies you stopped out before they appeared. How you scattered. The machinations of the evil ones. Father, we thank you. We thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Ah, no one can thank you enough. Hallelujah. No one can thank you enough. Your No one can thank you enough. As I go to my seat, this month is a month of thanking God. And as we thank God, He will do much more. All He wants to do is just to hear you say thank you. Gratitude. And He says there will be testimonies. Gratitude, and there will be testimonies. Testimonies of his goodness. Testimonies of his goodness. One of the words that God has given us this month. He says, he that created eyes, will he not see? He that created ears, will he not hear? He says, write down what you want me to do for you. And I will read it. And I bring it to pass. That's a task that God has given you. 
before you leave today. He says, write it down. For someone who says, haven't done all, stand. Stand. And you will see the salvation of God. Those two things are cardinal. out. But right now, for just about five, ten minutes, I'm going to give people who know that God is talking to them. Maybe about three, maximum five. And all throughout this month, that's all we are going to do. I heard him. And it's because he wants to do awesome things. So, I've told the ushers, if you know you want to give your testimony, lift up your hands, you want to say thank you for something. Thank you, my sister, that's number one. Amen. There's another lady putting up her hands behind there. Wait, 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 we'll get our five. We'll get our five. That's number two. You have somebody else? Amen. There are some people here. If we make it short, my Lord here, yeah. amen, we'll be able to do it. So, there are people here. Amen. Is it okay to hear some testimonies? That's what God wants to do. And we cover all these testimonies in the blood of Jesus. Amen. We say affliction will not rise a second amen. time. I had God say it. So let's do it. Two minutes, two minutes. Praise the name of the Today, Lord. Today, make sure it's two minutes, okay? Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The last um, departmental vigil that we had in the prayer department, I gave a testimony thanking God for his faithfulness concerning our three boys that um, they had gone abroad to school and um, they had returned. They, they, they've um, traveled back and forth for many years and God kept them. Then we had a daughter who insisted that it was nothing but to go abroad too. And my sweetheart had said, don't come to me to ask for a dollar. Those three boys, two of them had scholarship. And um, the third one, I said, God, this girl is saying to me that it is going abroad or nothing. As I'm talking to us now, she's on scholarship. Amen. She's in her last semester. Hallelujah. And her last year. Amen. God showed up. Amen. And he's always shown up. Amen. Last Sunday, when Pastor Aneke was taking the offering, he said, can you please allow me to talk before you give your offering? Mm. And you know, I'd made up my mind on what I was going to give. So I just did the transfer and kept quiet. And in my heart, I wanted to give to us 20 towers for the month of February. I said today is already 27th. Nothing can happen between today and tomorrow. The month is ending tomorrow. I'm not expecting any money okay. between now and tomorrow. So what happened? As I got out of the car park, I just saw a lot. I was, I was expecting money for some fund that I was raising to buy shoes for some children in Ajegunle. And I looked at it. I said, this is double. And I saw there, auntie, please don't call me. Just go and use that money to enjoy Hallelujah. yourself. Let's clap for Jesus. I did it. Let's clap for Jesus. Thank Let's you, clap Lord. for Jesus. God bless you. Yes, 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 yes. Um, Quickly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, so two quick testimonies. The first one was... Um, my two sons graduated last year. Hallelujah. You know, um, one graduated master's degree, the younger one first degree. Amen. And um, the, oh, the one with master's, you know, got a job. Within two months, they bought a house and all of that. Hallelujah. And I wanted to give the testimony. But because the younger one, we've been waiting for the admission for his uh, medical school. And I kept saying, until the testimony is complete. And you know, as pastor was talking, I'm like, today I have to write this testimony. So I just want to thank God Hallelujah. for his faithfulness. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's clap for Hallelujah. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Who is next? Yeah, quickly, quickly. Our time is gone. Amen. Hallelujah. Who is next? Who is next? Does she want to give? Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, please, yes. I want to thank God for his mercies. Amen. I was supposed to give this testimony this morning. I was writing it and there was no time. I said, okay, next week. But I thank God for this opportunity. My second daughter that got admission to study in Boston, uh, one of the things that got us to continue with that uh, process was the dual degree that she was promised. Uh, in between, she got an email from the school, that, from the finance department, that, oh no, she's no longer qualified for the dual degree because her school fees, one of these uh, installments came in late. And she was, wow, how can that be attached to it? She called me. I said, my child, a lion cannot give birth to a goat, that you must pray fight spiritually and you must talk to them. My daughter said, okay, we kept praying. Mommy Siju on two Sundays ago came and then talked to us about God, God can. can yeah. When she
she said, God, come. And pastor, you came out and said, is there anyone here that is believing God for something? Come out. I came out there. I wept. I cried to God. I said, my father, my maker, and this child must get that dual degree. That week, my Amen. daughter got an email Hallelujah. that reinstated her. Hallelujah. I want to thank the almighty God Praise for doing that. Praise the name that. of the Lord. I hope you are not just clapping. Connect to all this. I hope you are not just clapping. Connect. 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 God is no respecter of persons. Yes, yes, yes. Praise Let's hear just a few more. Yes, a few more. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the first time I'm going to believe that God actually listens to me yeah. today. Because while Pastor was talking that if you have testimonies, you're not giving, I was feeling so bad. I didn't even realize it was a testimony. And I said, God, please let them announce, you know, this kind of thing. That if anybody has a testimony that we should um, talk about it. So that's the first testimony. Um, in 2020, I resigned from my work. I didn't even know it was a testimony. I didn't know it was God until Pastor is speaking. I just resigned without even consulting God, started my own business. Everything is going so well. And I didn't even realize it was a testimony. I've been asking God, God, give me a testimony now. I want to testify. That itself is a testimony. In the middle of COVID year, I left a well-paying job just out of anger, started my own business. Everything started falling into place. I found staff. They are not harassing me. Everybody is doing their job so well. The business is thriving. I just want to give glory to God. Hallelujah. Because I didn't even realize it was a testimony. Hallelujah. Connect with that. If you need help in the area of your business, it will come alive in Jesus' name. Yes, 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 yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. Change, change the mic, please, quickly. And sanitize all those things, okay? Sanitize them. Hello. Yeah. Exactly four years ago in February, the enemy attacked my health and he thought it was for bad. Today, the Lord has used that same thing issue and use me to help over 20 people hallelujah who have gone through the same thing hallelujah and today all of us are standing praise the like name of the lord let's clap for jesus hallelujah you need to publish it there are people waiting to be helped amen yes and everyone that is sick we prophesy that your healing has come in jesus mighty name yes madam quickly praise, praise the lord hallelujah last two weeks we can't hear and you. Lower last, your mask. Praise the Lord. By this time, two weeks ago, during January fasting, I was taking, I was, I started to do the dry fasting. So I was having the dry fasting. Later, when I finished the dry fasting, I continued with normal fasting. Meanwhile, I was careless about my health. I never, I didn't realize my health needs something, supplements. So all of a sudden, I broke down. By God's grace, I collapsed in, the, in my bedroom. I was taken to the hospital. Later, I couldn't walk. I was taken to other hospitals, especially this hospital. They said, I didn't have blood, enough blood in my heart. I slumped in the, my bedroom. In the, in, the, uh, in the old hospital again, I slumped again. But today you are standing. But today, to the when glory I was in the hospital, God. Pastor, I was on a wheelchair for a week. I couldn't but today walk. you are standing. But today I am standing. You can't thank God enough. Let's clap for Jesus. God. Let's clap for Jesus. Can we take a few more? Anybody? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. Quickly. Then we need to take from upstairs unless there is no testimony upstairs. Amen. So let's take a microphone upstairs. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is somebody speaking there? Hallelujah. There's somebody standing. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise yes. the Lord. Hallelujah. On the 15th of January, somebody my needs to speak upstairs. Yes, husband me. had a very bad accident. The driver's side was a write-off. Mm. When I got there, I saw the accident. I saw him. I didn't believe he was the one standing. Mm. When we got to the hospital, the trauma um, physiotherapist saw him, asked who was driving the car. We said it was him. Mm. The doctor even didn't believe it. I just really want to thank God that he's standing today. No one can thank you enough. Is that your husband? Oh, you are your God. In the name of the Father, uh -huh. in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, 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 yes. Anybody else? We need to shut down now. Did they tell me when we need to shut, up, shut down? Okay? Yes. Praise, Praise the name God. of the Lord. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. 
I usually have delay in my academics. 2004, I finished from school. Obsessed? No results. Great. I have to go back to another university to study. After that, no results again. I have to start all over again. Last two years, I did another program, expecting results. When the result came out this year, I was afraid that I will not be given results. Yesterday, I received a message. Hallelujah. That congratulations, you have 3.77. Hallelujah. Let's clap for Jesus. Let's clap for Jesus. Can we take a few more? We should Praise go on. In the name of the Lord. Yes, 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 yes. When Pastor Wemi went to be with the Lord, I never thought I would be able to stand. Mm. I had only one child in university, but today I am standing. Hallelujah. God has been faithful. I have two graduates. I just cannot thank God enough. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Our God is faithful, a comforter. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So last year, November, I was very sick. I was so sick that I stay on the fourth floor in my house. I I could not walk down. I remember my boss, Pastor Bing Pei, she had to, my sister called her as early at 3 a.m. that morning. She had to ask my sister that they should get someone to back me downstairs from the fourth floor. That get somebody, pay the person to take her downstairs. They had to pay one of all these aboki guys. The guy had to come to the fourth floor, backed me downstairs, and they came to Healing Stripes. I was there for some days. I just want to thank God that I survived that because Hallelujah. that was a terrible crisis. Hallelujah. Let's understand. clap for Jesus. Praise yesterday, the name of the Lord. Yesterday, I came back from camp. So I slept. I just woke up in the evening. I said, let me cook. On the burner, I cooked the rice. So I was frying plantain and I don't know how it happened. The fry pan fell down. All the plantain was on the ground. The oil was... There was not even a drop that touched me last Hallelujah. night. Hallelujah. Let's, Let's clap for Jesus. Let's clap for Jesus. Yes, yes, madam. Yes, 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 yes. Quickly. Pastor, what God did for me made me to begin to fear God in a different way. You better say your testimony. My testimony is this. On Friday, I had wanted to join, uh, to watch the Holy Ghost Congress. On, uh, v, um, don't be there. Our transformer bond uh, uh, exploded. So never took light, we don't have light. And then a brother in my house, uh, in my evangelism department, Uncle Edwin, he called me and, and said, Chica, I hope you're gonna join. I said, sir, Nepa has taken our light. He, he just pray, said, let's pray on the phone. He, we prayed. Pastor, before the, the Nepa brought light. This is a transformer that, you know, transformer exploded. The testimony that made me yesterday, Nepa took light again. You know, after watching that Holy Ghost Night Conference on Friday, yesterday I was seated to watch to watch the the the, the anointing and the Holy Communion service. Never took light. Hallelujah. My data expired since I I, I haven't exp I renewed my data on my phone. <laughs> Holy Spirit led me to 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 go to new YouTube without data. I connected. Hallelujah. Without data, that can I, only it be is God. God. We it can't thank God. Him enough. Amen. People of God, we need to shut down. Amen. I'm sorry, amen, unless we must hear you. We must hear you. If it's that we must hear you, we must. We must. Praise the Lord. Yes, there. Yeah, mm -hmm. we take two more. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Praise the Lord. Somebody there. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for my daughter. She was born on the 16th of March, 2020. Hallelujah. 21. And she came out with the, the doctor said she had brancal plexus injury. That's, her right hand was um, um, partially paralyzed because she was a big baby and um, coming out was a bit difficult. But to the glory of God, we started physiotherapy. And today, today. her right hand is working. Today. She can Hallelujah. Let's go for Jesus. Amen. Amen. You must share it. We'll take if you must. Amen. One second. Praise yes. The, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There's somebody there. Mm -hmm. um, April, April if you tell the ushers and the, they think you must, then you must. Praise the so Lord. So ushers, please go and listen. Praise Amen. the Lord. April 11 will make it 11 years. My I husband. say clear them. Clear them. Will make it 11 Ask years. Them. That's the meaning. Yes. April 11 will make April 11 this year will make it 11 years. My husband 
left the home and left me with two of my, my uh, biological children and three other adopted children. All the children are settled. Today, by 9 p.m., my daughter will be leaving to UK for a job. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Are we done? Are we done? Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Praise the, the Lord. Yes. The devil attacked my health sometime last year. Mm. I had a major surgery. And um, at that surgery, God took control. Hallelujah. And it was successful. Amen. But I realized that there were nine of us that were operated on that day. Mm. One person has died. Ah. And I, I, I just, just got to understand that it's only by his mercy. Yes. Even after all the money, all you the have care been for made the hospital. Whole. It's Amen. just his mercy. Hallelujah. And today's message has taught me that I don't need to give thanks mm. every year as I was thinking. Every mm. I promised myself I'll always give thanks every year I make. Amen. Moving on. I realize now I need to be thanking God every day. Every day. Praise every the day. Lord. Every day. Every day. Every day. No one can thank you enough. Hallelujah. No one can thank you. We want to give our thanksgiving offering. Think about all the messes you know and the ones you don't know. And we just want to say thank you. So, I'd like us to prepare our offering. I don't have to say much on that right now. And we're going to dance. David danced. David danced because he realized that he shouldn't be alive. A murderer, an adulterer, and God still had mercy. Today is a very special day. God has said you will testify. Then, the first thing you need to do is to make sure that you belong. And the way to belong is to acknowledge that you are a sinner and that you cannot pay for your sins. Christ has already paid for your sins. You just want to accept that free gift of salvation. Then you are the only one to lift up your hands right now. Just lift up your hands. If you want to surrender your life to Jesus Christ, you want to surrender your life to Jesus Christ. You want Him to accept you to ensure that you have your testimony. Lift up your hands right now. Lift up your hands right now. Anybody, 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 if you are online, lift up your hands. Amen. And if you are lifting up your hands, just repeat after me. I say, Lord Jesus, I come to you right now. I know I'm a sinner. Please forgive me my sins. With my mouth, I confess. That Jesus, from today, I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. I plead the blood of Jesus to wash me clean of all my sins. Please fill me with your Holy Spirit and write my name in the book of life and make me brand new. If you said that prayer, welcome to the family of God. All your sins have been forgiven you and the grace to live a righteous life. God will grant to you in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the name of the Lord.